in the previous lessons we made our first dashboard. Now it's time to make our data speak. I'm going to tell you a story about how I use the visualization. I hided all toolbars to focus on the presentation. During the first two months, Alex signed two contracts. Mary also two, Victor one, and Peter no one. Let's discuss Alex's result. Click on Alex and see how changed the funnel. What we can see? He signed two contracts. His conversion is 8%. However, he stopped to make offers and didn't lead new customers. So, he shouldn't see it and wait for signing contracts. He should continue to call to potential clients and make offers. What about Mary? Her results are as Alex's one, two signed contracts. However, her funnel is unbalanced. Compare it with Alex. Her leads result is 33%, whereas Alex's 62 and Victor's 70. So, weak point of her sales funnel are leads. Conversion from the next step to step is OK. That's why we decided to pair her up with Victor. He is good at lead generation, but not as making offers and signing contracts. The last one is Peter. He didn't show results in signing contracts. It seems like a failure. However, if we look at the graph, we will see that he started to call to client later than others. He has in another project. And conversion from step to step is good. So, if we show his result according to the result of three months, we can say that Peter is the best salesperson. He signed six contracts. As well as Alex increased number of his leads in presentation and ensured sustainable outcome. Mary and Victor work together and their conversion is balanced. This was an example of making a presentation using the dashboard. In this lesson, we learned basic tools of Power BI and the simplest way to tell a story about your data. I hope to see you next at the next classes and thank you for your attention.